They're like a B-Tech borough. That's what, that's what they are. Hey everybody, welcome to another All Leagues TV video with the Ramblers of the South Stand and it's going to be the day after the night before. Uh, for me in particular, I've been over here in Sydney with Leeds getting a draw down at Millwall. A fantastic result for Leeds United. We've broken a little bit of the duck down there. Thank God we've actually gone down there and done what we said we we're going to do. We said we we're going to pick up some points and we have done with a second string team. Let's bear that in mind. These guys are so bitter. It's hilarious. They can, and this video is probably going to get a few dislikes, but I'm not bothered because today I am buzzing. We've gone down there. We're still the most... We're not, we're not beaten. No, no teams have beaten us yet. Even Millwall, Norwich, no one's beaten us, which is fantastic. We've had a tough, tough start. The injuries that played on Leeds uh, before this game were really, really paramount. And you can see that in the game. The likes of Pablo Hernandez with his creativity. Kimar Roof with his finishing. We didn't have that within the squad. And you could tell that. They were talking about... I've, I've, I've even been DM'd as well by Millwall fans getting all bitter about like, little things. But Leeds have actually... What we've done is we've had four clear chances there. We've had four clear chances which it should have been 3 or 4 nil at half-time. I genuinely believe that. Tyler Roberts, great movement, but if that's Kimar Roof, leads a 3 or 4 nil up. And you, they're the basic facts. He had three massive chances there. A couple that he scuffed and one which was a half decent save. So Leeds genuinely should have been three up at half time. It wasn't a great performance, but Leeds had the ball, we had possession, we were controlling the game. And that's just the facts. I don't understand why that's been disputed. They had a couple of chances at the end where they should have scored 100%, but Leeds were the better team throughout. We controlled the game, we had the ball. Anytime Millwall had the ball, it was down the flanks, it was lumped, it was lumped. The only chances they had, once again, like Borough, they're like a B Tech Borough. That's what, that's what they are. They don't do it as effectively, they're not as organised, but they're a big team, they're a huge team and all they were doing, we've had it before, was the long throws. And what's brilliant about BL Society is it doesn't seem to affect us. Whatever team we have out, you know, I mean, obviously the Jed Wallace goal did affect us, but I mean, the amount of long throws they had, I think I saw a stat where they had about eight or nine. And it's hilarious because they're doing the thing again where they're coming out and saying, oh, we battered Leeds, we're all over Leeds. No, they weren't. Leeds, if you look at the possession stats, were top. Leeds beat them. We, 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 had, we, had, we had the ball, we were controlling the game, we, we were trying to create chances. Annoyingly, we weren't able to do that. And that's the most frustrating thing for Leeds United. We were not able to create the amount of chances. The chance creation was very, very low. They were, as I said in my pre-match, they were all over Samu Saiz, like we all knew they were going to be. And Leeds didn't really have anything to go forward with, but Samu had a cracking game. I think Oscar, if you've not checked his video out, please go check it. Um, it'll be on our previous videos from last night. Oscar gave him an 8 out of 10, I thoroughly agree with that, I thought Samu had a cracking game, he was the only one who was really dragging Leeds forward, what I loved about him as well is he didn't get frustrated, the Millwall fans were all getting on top of him, the referee was getting on top of him, their players were giving it large to him all the time, and it's fantastic, because Leeds have come away with a draw, and the reason we're celebrating like we've won the FA Cup guys, is because we haven't got a result down at your place in so long, that it does feel like that for us, it feels, it's, 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 a, it's a monkey off our backs, we've actually gone there, and a Bielsa team, what we've managed to do is we managed to go somewhere and with a second rate team, we had a second string team out against you boys. That's what we've done. We've gone there with a second string team and we've got a point, which is fantastic. And I thought we played okay. It wasn't great. It wasn't textbook Leeds United. We had a midfielder up front for 20 minutes and what a change by Bielsa as well. I saw Dallas came on and I thought, oh God. Just in the case of it was industrial, Leeds don't really have a lot of creativity with Dallas. He's not very quick. He doesn't really take on a man. So I thought, oh God, I mean, I mean, what are we holding out for here? We're 1-0 down. But the beautiful thing is we kept going, we kept going. He put Harrison up front. I wouldn't have called that, but that's Bielsa. That's Bielsa's magic. And what a finish. I've been, <laughs> they're calling it a P-roller. A P-roller, it was a brilliant strike. Touched the ball down, first touch, 25 yards, ping in the bottom corner. And he, he, that boy is getting better and better every single game. He really is. He's coming to the fore and he's showing Every time I've seen him, he's getting, but he's got a lovely touch. I hope Bielsa gives um, Guardiola a nice little ring and says thank you for Jack Harrison because he's, he's he's doing better for us. And I think he could be a key player with Preston, Birmingham, and Wednesday coming up. The thing that does worry me is the chance creation. I thought at the end Millwall probably should have nicked it just on the basis that Tom Elliott um, should have finished that chance. But like I said, guys, we had we had four or five massive chances leads did. We had huge chances where we should have won the game, definitely, because we had three or four Tyler Roberts. I mean. <coughs> Movement's great, but I'm just not sure he's up to that level. Do you start Jack Harrison up front for Preston? 
that wouldn't be something that I would bet against uh, Bielsa's going to do because I thought when he went up front we had a little bit more zest they were playing in the channels which we always do with Roof because he's not the biggest lad playing in the channels and we were all playing off him which was great to see but Leeds definitely controlled the game in the second half they were I mean they, they, there was a few counter attacks on Millwall but their chance creation was like ours it was minimal but it's an away day for us you could bring them back to Ellen Road and in my opinion we beat them comfortably a full strength Leeds United squad would have peppered them for me 3 or 4 nil. but what's brilliant is in previous seasons we'd have gone down there and we'd have buckled it would have been 2 or 3 nil. we would and the beautiful thing is Leeds kept going and going and going I think um, uh, Eddie Gray said on uh, LUTV if we carry on like this Leeds are going to there's going to be chances created and Leeds are going to have them and you could see that it was coming there was something coming we were building and building but Millwall just sat back they were just sat back and then at the end they had the two chances where you know they, they lumped the ball in once again and you know Tom Elliott should have scored granted but Leeds should have been three up by that point so we controlled the game and it's fantastic to see that a second string Leeds United squad were able to it passing fluid were able to do this as well you know without the key boys in there you know the Berardis um the Berardis the Pablos the Roofs you know even the Bamfords coming off the bench I thought a second string Leeds United squad did that that is very very good from Leeds very impressed as well um just on the basis that we grind it out and that that is what champions do title this video that is what champions do because that is what we do we are the only unbeaten team in this league and you've got to give us credit for that you know you've got to give us credit i'm seeing you know all this stuff on 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 the internet of our leads we're lucky we weren't lucky at all i thought we controlled the game i thought we had the most of the ball as i've said and i thought i thought the chance creation we could have had three we could have been three nil up um, for me um, Tyler Roberts is his first game but I thought his movement was really good um, you know in and out of the channels coming and receiving the ball making those nice little runs for me Click has got to play further forward that is where we uh, there was a massive problem Click has got to play further forward what I'd have done personally I'd have put Adam Forshaw on I'd have brought him on in the second half and I'd have pushed Click up with um, Saez you've got to do that and I think Bielsa recognised that after the game I'm not the manager obviously but that's a personal opinion you guys have all got your opinions please put it in the comments uh, in the section below and tell me what you think about that but I think Matthias Click has to play further forward against Preston because we missed him and he went he kind of reverted into that role that he's played um for uh you know that we saw in last season under TC really whenever he featured and he just he, he can't play there it's not his it's not his game Phillips for me I'd have given him man of the match I thought he was absolutely superb went into the centre back uh, roll a couple of times and just brilliant pass percentage was fantastic all over it I thought um um Ailing had quite a quiet game, Baz was pretty quiet. But they went about the roles fantastically and they went about the job fantastically and I was really proud to be a Leeds fan last night because we've actually gone there, like I've said a million times, with a second string team and we've managed to pick something up at one of the toughest places in the league. Cardiff and Wolves didn't get anything there last season. Actually, I think Wolves might have got a point. They didn't get, there was no wins from Cardiff or Wolves there last season. So you've got to see that as a positive. I genuinely thought we could have nicked. And what I loved as well is when we got that goal, we, we, wanted to, we wanted another one, didn't we? We wanted a second one um, with two or three minutes to go. Unfortunately, it didn't plan out like that, but really proud to be Leeds today, guys. Tell me what you think. Uh, this is a nice little backdrop as well. I'm thinking of using this a little bit more often. Um, you know, it's not bad, is it? Uh, Sydney skyline. Um, so, yeah, just let me know what you think as well. I was thinking of either getting sort of like a canvas or keeping this, um, but please leave your likes comments in the section below tell me what you think did we deserve to beat Millwall were Millwall the better team personally no and um, they're all going off as if they you know they should have beaten a 10 nil uh, it's pretty sad to be honest but I thought Leeds were the better team credit to Millwall uh, it's a nightmare place to go to but I thought we held our own with the sort of squad we had and uh, yeah tell me what you think in the box below I'm gonna give my man of the match to Calvin Phillips what do you guys think? Do you think it should be Samu Saeed? Do you think it should have been uh, Luke Ehrlin? What do you think? All the best, guys. March on together. Get in.